Hey guys, AK James 762 here. I know it's been a while since I did a video, so I'm going to do another video on my Camelback. Um, I believe I did the review video. I've had this Camelback for about a year and a half, maybe, maybe even more than that. Did a review video on it. It is the Lobo. It is the uh, 100 ounce capacity Camelback. I believe this one is for cycling. I think I said that in the review. It's got hooks right here that say helmet on them. So I'm assuming that's where you hook your helmet. Well, the, the purpose of this video is when I, what I stated in the uh, review video is that I take this to work. I take this to work every day. This is my water for work. I carry my lunch in it, stuff like that. Well, I have since started using something else to carry my lunch in, and I've turned this into like a mini bug out bag, if you will. I carry a lot of things on me. One of the things I carry, it's not in my Camelback, but it's on my person, is this DeWalt utility knife. So it's $10 on eBay, and it's got a little compartment in the handle to store the extra blades. It's a badass knife. This is my work knife. I carry it with me. So I guess that can go with this whole video. <clears throat> anyway, I do not have the bladder in it. I have taken it out because since it is a Camelback, it's pretty self-explanatory that it's going to come with a bladder. Obviously, when I carry this, I have the bladder in it. It's generally full of water. So, this one, being as small and, and sleek as it is, doesn't really have much in the area of storage. Obviously, this pocket right here is for the bladder itself, and there's nothing inside. You've got this zippered compartment here, this zippered compartment here, and this kind of pouch on right here, and that's it. But, I can fit a lot of things in here that I would generally use. First thing right here is a pair of gloves. They got the, uh, they're dipped, so it's like, it's the, the neoprene or polyester, whatever you want to call it, with the actual grip on it because it was dipped. I use those. I don't think we have anything. No, there's nothing else in that pouch. So I'll go on right here to the top, this top zippered compartment. Got some chapstick. You know, my lips, you know, this, this past winter has been pretty cold. Lips get chapped, carry chapstick. Got a bandana in there, you never know when that could come in handy. Get it wet, wrap it around your neck, your head, whatever. It does have this neoprene mesh compartment, I guess you could call it in there. A little jar of Vaseline for starting fires. Mainly for me, I've got this, I don't know if you call it a skin condition or whatever, but my knuckles and my hands get really dry. Because the work I do, I wash my hands a lot, I'm messing around with chemicals, cold air, all that stuff. So it really does a number on my hands. So I use the Vaseline to keep my knuckles and my hands and stuff moisturized. So they're not all like fucking old man hands or whatever. Another thing I keep in here, I do keep it in a Ziploc bag, sealed, because of the condensation possibility from the water in the Camelback. I got this on Amazon. It's a badass device. It's an OBD diagnostic tester. Stick it in the OBD port in your vehicle. This is OBD2, which means 96, 1996, and newer model vehicles. It works with a smartphone app. You connect it with Bluetooth. It works with the smartphone app called Torque. And what you do is you can lift it up right here and you got actions. You can show logged faults, which means it'll check if your check engine light's on. It'll scan it and see why. What's cool, what, uh, one of the cool things about that app is... I can't show you because obviously I'm not connected to a vehicle, but if it does pop up with something result, some, some kind of problem with your check engine light, it says you can search it on the web. It gives you the code, the general description, and then you can search it on the web. And you click that, and it takes you to a website where it gives you all the possible scenarios of what happened to cause it and all the possible solutions that you can do to fix it. Replace this, replace that, do this, this, this. It's a really cool device. And also you can bring up little... Uh, display modules of your air intake, your acceleration, RPM, fuel uh, fuel efficiency, all that stuff. It's, it's badass. This was only like 25 bucks and the app was free. Anyway, that's all I have in that pocket. I'm going to go down here to the bottom pocket. It unzips all the way. And right there, big bag of cough drops. Ludens. Best cough drops out there. They work great. They taste good. They taste like candy. And they work and taste way better than any bullshit hauls. Hauls are disgusting. I do keep a knife in here, along with my utility knife. 
never know when you might need it. Plastic bag, you never know when you may need that. Here's a phone charger. I have an extra phone charger. It has the car, you know, plug it into your cigarette lighter or you flip out the prongs and you can plug it into the wall. I believe that's it. This one also does have a few other compartments in here. And that's it. Nothing on this side. You know, you could also, when I, when I pull the straw out, it goes through here and clips right here. You've got these other little loops you can hang stuff from if you decide to. But, it's, I mean, it's not a lot of stuff. You're not going to fit a lot of stuff in this specific Camelback. There are other Camelbacks, such as this one. This is a 70-ounce. This isn't a 100-ounce capacity. But it's like a, it's basically like a backpack. you got multiple pouches. There's multiple pouches in here. But pink is not my color, so this isn't mine. <laughs> anyway... You're obviously not going to fit as much in something like this as you would a normal size backpack, duffel bag, camping pack, bug out bag, whatever word you want to use to describe it. But I figured I'd do a video to show you that even if you do have a small camelback like this and you want to carry some useful items on you that you can, you know, just little small stuff like this. This is no kind of, you know, survival type thing. This is just, I have this these things on me if I so need them in a, in a certain scenario or whatever. So... These are the things, this is my EDC, if you will, everyday carry. This is the stuff I carry to work every day, along with my lunch and myself, money, wallet, things like that. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe give you guys some ideas if you have a camelback and you, you know, carry stuff, whatever. So, have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Take it